Okay, so for our process control project, we decided to model the fantastic and exciting fountain display in front of the Bellagio Hotel. It's one that's known to many tourists around Las Vegas, but it's one that's always struck an interest, especially after the popular Ocean's Eleven. So like I said, the fountains at the Bellagio was what we decided to tackle for our process control. In order to simplify the 12,000 water jet show in front of the Bellagio Hotel, we decided to separate it into one single fountain unit. And with this fountain unit, we made some general assumptions saying that every water jet was independent of the next and had its own pump in order to propel the water upwards. We also said that it was hooked into the general pool of water, essentially recycling it as it went along. As we started to model the show, we decided to use um, the mechanical energy balance to be able to model how the water was being pumped from the pump and how this displayed into the velocity that was being shot from the nozzle. So we chose two points, one being the surface of the water, the second being the exit from, or the one being the surface of the water and the second being the entrance of the nozzle, and then created it, an equation for the velocity as a function of the work of the pump. So now that we have the velocity at the, the exit of the nozzle, um, we're going to look at the water from the nozzle exit to its height. And it turns out to be pretty difficult to track the water just to its height and then keep tracking the height. So the, one of the ideas that we came up with is we want to track a theoretical box that's being pushed upwards by the force of the water below it and then the gravity is pulling it downwards. And so it, it turned out to be possible that, to track that box. And so you can see the equations of motion that we have um, here on the left and then we were able to um, solve the force balance around the box and using the equations of motions we were able to do that in in terms of height of the water jet. So then w we needed to derive the transfer function that we we're going to plug that net force into and so you just simply start out with F equals MA here and then you put it into the Laplacian domain here and solve for H over F and you can see the resulting transfer function. After we derived all of our components mathematically, we were able to simulate our model in Simulink. So here we have our components um, that are all mathematically mathematical functions, and by varying the set points, we were able to get different heights. Then we performed a stability analysis, and when Casey was less than 27, we um, were stable. We were then able to condense this block diagram into a nozzle or a mask, which is represented by this graphic right here. Um, and then we were able to extrapolate this display into the 100 jets to simulate the show at the Bellagio Hotel. All right, so here's our final sh water show uh, in Simulink. As you can see, we have 100 water jets, uh, 30 medium, 20 tall, and 50 short jets, along with their accompanying control diagram to the left there. And all those jets feed into um, this scope at the top, which sends their heights back to MATLAB. Uh, here's a close-up of some of the control architecture. Uh, using constants and um, time delays, we were able to control the medium, short, and tall groups, as well as the even and odd fountains independently. Uh, you can program any sequence of jets uh, using constants or functions that can control the jets simultaneously or um, as propagating waves over time. And you'll see some of those functions um, in this video of our final show.
No questions. Here.